Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie. When entering data into a form, it's often easier to press the Enter key than the Tab key to move from Edit Box to Edit Box. So, in this guide, I am going to show you a number of ways to intercept the Enter key and turn it into a Tab key press. I have here a form with a bunch of Edit Boxes in it and a Submit button, which just says uh, Submitted Thanks. So, what we want to do is for our first way of converting enter as tab, we're going to look at the on key press and say if key equals uh, hash 13, which is the enter key, then begin. We'll assign the key to null and then um, use the select next method and we can go active control which will be the edit box um, and then true for go forward and true for checking for tab stops and if we run that I can press the Enter key on the keyboard on Edit 1, but not uh, 2, 3, and 4 if you use the Tab key. So it's quite easy for us to select the remaining edits and go down and grab on key press and select key press 1. Now, if we run that again, I can press Enter, 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 Enter. And in fact, let's go on to submit and grab that to start the process again. So yes, no, blue, green, submit, and we're back to the start. All works fine until you forget uh, to have the event on one of the edit boxes, and then of course we're stuck. So let's remove the event from the other edit boxes. Let's now go to the on key press for the form and select our edit one key press and this won't actually work until we set key preview to true and if we run that enter 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 submit submit and thanks let's now shift this down there and delete the edit and we'll put a T memo on the form. And I'll just change the tab order so that the memo is before the button. And run that. And we go enter, enter, enter. And I want to put another line of text after that. I press enter, but I can't. So we need to go into our event on the form and add a little bit more logic and and check that active control is a T edit. And we'll run that again. Enter, enter, enter. Line one, line two, and I have to press tab. For the third method, um, we'll get rid of all of this code and go back to the form, and we'll also get rid of or 
Let's set it back to false. Key preview. Now, if we go to the code and up in the forms uh, definition, I'll press control space to bring up the code completion. And we'll use the CM dialog key uh, message. It's, it intercepts the Windows um, Windows message. And I'll just press Control Shift down arrow. Uh, sorry, Control Shift C to create the um, the declaration for it. And in here we'll say if message dot char code equals uh, vk underscore return then message.charco equals tab and then we call inherited so we've basically just converted the enter key to, to the tab key and then called the inherited version of this um, message method oops that might help ok let's run that and we go enter 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 and the memo still intercepts well um, intercepts the enter key uh, if we didn't want that to happen we need to go to the memo and say want returns false so now we go enter 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 and then on submit enter and this time the enter key is intercepted before the submit button get, gets it um, so we want to fix that and to do that let's go back to our source code and not active control which is one word of course so we'll just make sure that the active control is not a button and run that again enter 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 submitted and that's probably all I need to show you today we looked at three ways of converting the enter key press into a tab key press. The first was on a single control and the second was on the form. Both of these used the key press event. The third method was to intercept the Windows message. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.